today we are going to do instantaneous overcurrent protection and i am using ieee 4 bus system as my base system and i will modify that system while using the default system of etap keep in mind to use their their copy never use the original systems now first of all let's switch to the edit mode and let's modify this system i'm going to delete this bus and the transmission line and i'll connect this lump load directly to bus 3 and i'll delete this transformer as well and i'll copy this transmission line in place of the transformer now as transformer is removed we are going to make the system voltage uniform so let's change the system voltage that is 4.16 should be changed to 12.47 and also of lump load I am also changing the KVA and I am changing this load to static load and I am going to connect another static load to bus 2 this will be of 4 to 6 0 KVA now i want to know the current okay before that change or enter the short circuit rating of this grid this is i am entering as 117 x by a ratio now let's know the normal current now this is giving me power i'm going to change it from the display options We are going to use 350 and 150 for the overload. Usually it is considered 25% more than the uh, original current, but I am rounding it off to the nearest 50. Now the rating of this CT will be 350 by 5 as 350 was my normal load current. I am selecting the class designation as B2. For this the rating would be 150 and designation will be B2 now let's connect the overcurrent relays to these CTs and I will select from the OCR library Siemens 7S J601 it has overcurrent function and I'm deselecting over current and I'm just letting instantaneous uh, be there and I'm going to paste it to the other CD now for the pickup current of OCR I'll have to do the fault analysis I will try to know the fault current of this portion by putting fault on bus 2 and um, then I will repeat the same for bus 3 and uh, when the fault will be here only the letter portion would be opened and when the fault is here the former portion will be opened and this whole system will be protected in such a way so let's fault bus 2 now I will want to know the smallest fault current so I am going to give the single line to ground fault if I will uh, provide protection against the um, least or minimum of amount of fault current then my system will be protected for the higher values as well so single line to ground fault at bus 2 was 3.65 and at bus 3 it is 3, 3 kilo amperes
now for the pickup current I'm going to divide the fault current which is 3650 by the normal load current which was 350 so I got 10.43 and in the similar manner I'm going to find out the pickup current for relay 2 I am going to divide 3000 by the normal load current which was 150 so 20 is my pickup current now this OCR will operate the breakers so I need to insert the breakers now open the OCR and add these breakers output should be connected to the circuit breaker which is circuit breaker 1 and here output should be connected to circuit breaker 2 now let's open a star protective device coordination and let's apply the fault on bus 3 only circuit breaker 2 should operate and um, circuit breaker 1 should not operate and this should serve the loaded bus 2 so circuit breaker 2 is operating and the load is still resumed to bus 2 at bus 2 and when I apply the fault at bus 2 then circuit breaker 1 would operate and whole system would be um, isolated from the grid